Hey everybody, it's Charles Boy for like the third time today. So today, or right now, I will be showing my top 10 favorite Pokemon. This is not based by the card, just based by the Pokemon. Now, in a few minutes, I will be doing my top 10 favorite legendaries. I posted a comment a, long, a while back saying my favorite top 5, but I mean, I'll change. some of it's been changed since then. So, let's start. So, my 10th favorite Pokemon is Pikachu. Just mainly because, I mean, it's mother freaking Pikachu. Number 9 is Hydrogen, or Hydrogon, Hydrogon. It looks like some kind of Digimon. Really, it does. Yeah, I like this one. Though. This Pokemon, I've never used it, really used it, I just liked it. <laughs> Lucario, I used this in my black and white 2 uh, walkthrough, and then I did it in my platinum. It was a very nice adventure and very memorable. I'm not sure if you can see that. Sorry, I can't really see my recording. Okay, there we go. Now I can see it. Okay. And then number. Wait. Seven is Snorlax. Because, you know, Canto region, Pokey Flute. You went around trying to figure out how to find one. And you finally found one. You're like, yeah, Snorlax. Snorlax is just like that. Number six, I believe, is Blaziken. I've always been a big f fan of fire Pokemon. And by the way, if you saw my last video, you probably already know my favorite Pokemon. Of all time. I used him in my emerald and pretty good. Except until I got stuck on the fighting gym later. I forget his name. Brawny, I think. Then number five, I believe, is. Yeah, five is Charmander. I mean, come on. What kind of human being, being would I be if I didn't have Charmander in it? Now, I would probably replace Charmander with Charizard, but I have no visuals of Charizard. So, that is why I'm using Charmander instead. And I like it way better than Charmeleon, actually. Number four is Caesar. Mainly because Caesar was... Well, it was just an evolution of Scyther. Which was an awesome Pokemon back in Gen 1, I believe. And when, yeah, Gen 1. Sally Pinsir did not get an evolution, which would have been boss. Uh, you can't see why I'm frowning because he didn't get an evolution. Number 3 is Blastoise. Yeah, I really like Blastoise. Number 2. Dragonite. The reason why I put Dragonite on this list is because it seems like every region has a dragon type that is hard to train to get best, like the best Pokemon dragon thing in the game besides the legendary one or legendary dragons. It's just a really nice Pokemon opinion, in my opinion. You know, it's a. Uh, you got. Gibble, Gabite, Garchomp. This one you have Dragonite, Dragonair, and Dragonite. Other ones you have like. Axew, Rapture, and Haxorus. You got Dino, Twilius, and Hydreigon. And there's one for every reason. I, except for Con Cantle, I believe. My number one favorite Pokemon? Dremel. Yeah, best Dremel ever. Is. Da -da -da -da, Arcanine. Arcanine is just one of those Pokemon I really like. It's a really good Pokemon, too. I used it in my silver, gold, crystal walkthroughs. Not watchers, but playthroughs. 
I'm not sure in gold or, gold or silver, but I know in I did in crystal. It was a great Pokemon to have. And I know I did in black and white too, when you can catch Growlithe. So yes, this is these are my top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time. Besides legendaries. Yeah, this is a no legendary list, so let me go through that one more time. Pick two. Number 10, pick two. Number 9, Hydrogen. Number 8, Lucario. Number 7, Snorlax. Number 6, Blaziken. Number 5, Charmander. Number 4, Caesar. Number 3, Blastoise. Number 2, Jagnite. Number 1, Arcanine. So thank you for watching and being on the lookout for my top 10 favorite legendary Pokemon. I do not have all the legendary Pokemon, sadly, so I'll have to improvise. Thank you. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you again.